Let me start by saying this video is dealing with the mainnet 3.0 launch of the Elite Edge node, not the current pre-Elite beta version of the Edge node. Okay, a viewer had asked the question uh, on a recent video why I was using 4% as the T-Fuel staking rewards when the white paper said that the T-Fuel inflation for paying T-Fuel staking rewards would be between 2 and 4%. And the answer to that is at the time that they did the white paper, they had not zeroed in on the exact percentage they were going to inflate the supply of T-Fuel for paying T-Fuel staking rewards. So at that time, they were saying that they believed the amount would be somewhere between 2% and 4%. Based on this article published on Medium.com by Theta Labs, dated March 11th, they state quite clearly in this article that the T-Fuel staking rewards inflation is going to be 4%. Not only is it right here in the title, but it's also further down in the article, and I'll show you that too. So that is why I use 4% in my spreadsheet. And I'll show you where it says that. I'm going to scroll down through this article and you can go read this yourself if you want to but uh, right there it says uh, new 4% T-Fuel inflation for uptime mining for edge nodes so it's quite clear they've settled on 4% according to this article and my understanding of the uptime mining that they're referring to is if you stake T-Fuel and upgrade your edge node to be an elite edge node, you are going to receive a proportional amount to the amount that you have staked of that 4% T-Fuel inflation pot that's going to be set aside for paying T-Fuel staking rewards. The uptime mining aspect is going to determine where you are as far as performance is concerned and that is going to apply to how much T fuel you earn for doing the caching and the edge compute. It will have no effect on your share of the 4% of T fuel that is minted each year and set aside for the purpose of paying the T fuel staking rewards. If you read the white paper on Mainnet 3.0, they refer to the T fuel staking rewards as a base salary that you get just for showing up, and the uptime mining is used to determine what your performance bonus is based on your performance. So the uptime mining basically gives your edge node a score based on things like uptime of the edge node, speed of your connection, how long it takes for your edge node to complete jobs that it's assigned, stuff like that. So it rewards people for their improved performance because they've got a gigabyte bandwidth and they've got a the latest and greatest computer with the maximum number of cores available, stuff like that. So they are going to receive more T-Fuel than the guy that's doing the jobs, but he's only got the minimal internet connection and his he may take twice as long to complete jobs that are assigned to him. So he's going to earn a, a, a much less amount of T-Fuel than the guy who maximized everything that he can. So uptime mining is what provides the incentive for you to do a better job uh, with your edge node. And just to be clear, uh, you can have the best connection and the best computer and all that stuff, but you are not going to benefit from that uptime mining if you have not upgraded your edge node to an elite edge node by staking at least the minimum of 10,000 T-Fuel because it will just be a regular edge node and uh, there will be no uptime mining for it if you haven't staked and upgraded it to the elite edge node. So you're going to have to lay out the money for 10,000 T-Fuel 
And at least right now, the T fuel price is uh, much, much lower than it was, you know, a week or two ago. So, you know, you should be able to pick up 10,000 T fuel right now for around 3,000, 3,100, something like that. Okay, if you found this helpful, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me if you would on your way out. And I'll see you in the next video.